you know, Joe Biden got elected and I was uh, the, the executive producer of The Simpsons came at me on Twitter because uh, he said you had to vote for Biden because of kids in cages. And we pointed out to the executive producer of The Simpsons, Dana Gould, that he was way fucking wrong about that and had no idea what he was talking about. Of course, he's in a bubble. He thinks he's a good person because he voted for Joe Biden. And I had to point him out those cages were built by Barack Obama and Joe Biden. And then he called me Tucker Carlson. That's who the executive producer of The Simpsons is. (laughs) Okay. Here's Joe Biden today. So they all voted for Joe Biden, the executive producer of The Simpsons, Joe Dana Gould, like he said he would. He voted for him because of immigration. Here's what Joe Biden says today. You ready what Joe Biden says? Biden will not immediately roll back Trump immigration and border restrictions. Susan Rice and Jake Sullivan tell Spanish news agency Effie. And Title 42, MPP, et cetera, will take time to undo, despite campaign promises for day one reversals. You mean all the kids weren't immediately released from the cages like in a Disney movie? I thought the nation was supposed to be healing. He's taken a time out already. Do you know Joe Biden deported more Hispanics than all the presidents combined since 1890? Did you know that? Yeah. Joe Biden, to rich donors, nothing would fundamentally change if he's elected. Well, boy, he wasn't kidding. (laughs) He wasn't kidding. And by the way, that's where he tells the truth, to rich donors, not on Twitter. Remember this? Vote Biden. Vote Biden, then push him left. (laughs) Suckers. Suckers. Joe Biden... And Barack Obama deported way more Hispanics than Donald Trump did. So if you voted for Joe Biden because of uh, you wanted to be friendlier to Hispanic immigrants, you're not. Wow. Vote for Biden, then push him left. Buy the car and then haggle over the price. <laughs> Hey, when someone says nothing will fundamentally change, why not believe them? I really hope everyone who voted for him in the primary realizes how badly they effed up. I'm sure they won't notice. If you voted for him in the primary, you already have no clue what regular Americans are going through. That's my guess. Here's Joe Biden talking to Hispanics. Want to hear how Joe Joe Biden talks to Hispanics? Over those eight years, there were three million people that were deported and separated from their families. Yeah. We had this classification of families. Well, you should vote for Trump. Families you should vote for Trump. And be- no, 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 I'm not. I'm not going to <laughs> But I want to make sure that immigrant <laughs> families <laughs> and people like Sylvia are not afraid. And you have the power as a candidate to actually commit to stop all deportations from day one for executive action. And we want to hear you say that. I will not stop all deportations. He told the guy, go vote for Trump twice. Imagine if I said that on this show. The identity politics police would go crazy. Jimmy told people to vote for a racist. That's what they would tell me. But there's an actual racist, Joe Biden, telling people to go vote for Donald Trump. You know, there's only a few things Joe Biden's really passionate about deportations, fracking, and telling people to go vote for Trump. You can see clearly that Trump won't even close, come close to Obama when it comes to the first term deporting. This is Barack Obama. Look at, look at those deportations. Here's Trump. Not even going to come close to Obama's deportations. Not even going to come close. Isn't that something? I wonder who predicted that. And I have a prediction, by the way, for immigration. Donald Trump will deport less Mexicans than Barack Obama. And there it is. 
Well, here's here's Rachel Maddow. <laughs> Rachel Maddow uses photos of immigrant children held in cages during Obama administration while blaming Trump. And she'll probably be blaming Trump for the next four years, too. That's what kind of good reporting you get from fake eyelash Rachel Maddow, which I love those fake eyelashes that she wears. It makes the news so much better. Mm -hmm. You know who you got? You got Joe Biden. I wrote the goddamn crime bill, which which (laughs) brought on mass incarceration, more prisons, longer sentencing, escalated the war on drugs and targeted African-Americans. Crystal Ball says this, and she's right about it. She says the U.S. government under Trump orphaned children as an intentional act of cruelty. There are no words for this horror. Yes, that is true. One other thing, though, I'd like to add. Shahid Batar adds, Pelosi wrote the checks for Trump to do that. People forget that part, I think, sometimes. We pointed that out about the the goons in uh, Portland that Trump was sending in to, we were pointing out, guess who's funding that? Nancy Pelosi. Yeah. When it when it comes to the horrific actions of the US government, Pelosi f- feeds them. This is very clear an overt example of a broken promise about Joe Biden and the immigration. And if all the liberal organizations and talking heads who spent the fall arguing it was morally imperative to vote for Biden meant even 50% of what they said, every single one of them should be condemning it loudly and without qualification, but of course they aren't. No, once the season of finger-wagging at the Green Party and lefties is over, they go back to brunch, and that's where they are now, Luke. The Democrats are going to try the same lesser of two evil strategy in 2024, but due to shit like this, no one is going to believe them anymore. I hope not. I hope the Democratic Party is over. I hope, I hope not. I hope the Democratic Party is over. None of these ghouls regard kids in cages as anything but a campaign slogan, and that is true. I mean, the Dems are going to try the same. They are. They're going to try the same lesser of two evil thing in 2024 with Kamala Harris. They're going to do that. And then we just get another Republican anyway. It's almost like the cycle can't be broken unless there's a viable alternative to the two-party duopoly. Democrats exist to maintain the status quo, even if that status quo is implemented by the right and prevent any real moves to the left. The sooner you realize that they're your enemy, the better. Oh, yes, Savvy. So that's been the message here. And you can't put a progressive inside a counter-revolutionary corporate Wall Street war, pro-war party and expect them to do anything. Because right now they're in there and they have a chance to do something and they're not. Imagine if there was if there was a third party. Imagine if there was seven members of a third party. What the fuck they would be doing to Nancy Pelosi right now? They'd be making her jump through hoops to get their vote. The squad, not, they're not even, they don't even, they're not even getting together to strategize. They're not even getting together to strategize, just so you know. And, and we have progressive hosts who are lying about Medicare for all vote and not correcting when they, when it's pointed out that they've been lying, they're still not correcting it. So tell Jenk you're going to correct it. He's still spreading that bullshit lie that the GOP could become speaker He's still spreading the bullshit lie that we have to have another progressive lined up. He's a, it's the same demand no matter who's the speaker. Same demand. You don't get our vote unless you bring Medicare for All up for a vote on the floor. That's the same demand no matter who it is. It doesn't go over to the GOP. The time is now. Don't listen to gas letters telling you the time is not now. The time is now. There is no timeline for them to fight. They're, ne- they're never going to fight. Those people who are repeating that, that's that that's g- garbage corporate talking points. And the people repeating that, it's clear that they're your enemy. So get on those people. Make them back back hashtag force to vote. If you're a progressive and you don't back hashtag force to vote, you're not a real progressive. That's clear. I don't, that's not, that's not me proclaiming that. That's the world proclaiming that. 
Hashtag force to vote. Go to force to vote dot org. Hey, everybody, this is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are, but there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you we join our premium program, get extra content, but nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video.